you know, I'm really upset about this. You know, Pupa has so much potential, and it has beautiful animation artwork that just really stands out. But, as we already can tell from the second episode, I was really, I liked the first episode. But the second episode, as we can see, it's really rushed. And it really disappoints me, because Pupa has so much potential to be a home run series that would stand among the crowd of horror anime but they decided to make it into a short and censor majority of all the gore which i can understand the censors the censors are one thing but turning this anime that had so much potential for an epic freaking plot it's something unique to an anime it's upsetting to see something that is short and like this rushed and just not betrayed really well. The voice actors do a good job in this series. It's not the voice actors holding them back. It's not the character designs. It's not the animation. It's not the music. The main problem I see with Pupa is the short airing time that tries to kind of tell a story, but it doesn't have enough time to work with to be able to tell a story. And if I am correct, the series is only going to last 12 episodes. So it's really upsetting to find out these details because I was looking forward to Pupa so freaking much, and I still love the series for what it stands for I really do but honestly this has to be one of the biggest disappointments of this year I've seen because I, I really I mean I was really looking forward to the series for months and a lot of you that stick tuned to my channel most likely were thinking the same thing if you're into this type of anime you're like holy crap this is gonna be good and honestly if I had to say pupa as a series is a good series but the anime and the way they're just handling it, it doesn't feel right. And it feels like they didn't give this epic title the justice it deserved. And that is actually what's holding this series back. And so, pretty much, I'm upset about the way the course of the anime short of Pupa Episode 2 is going. And even the last episode, I'm going to continue reviewing this series. Just, you know, hopefully they can shape up their game and try to, I guess, be a little bit better with their, I guess, telling of a story. And trying to, I guess... Maybe somehow lengthen the time of the series. I mean, some shorts really do work and they're fine, especially comedy gag shorts. But when you actually have a series type plot like this in an anime short, it's kind of hard to really tell a good story. So that's probably the only thing that's holding this anime back and probably giving this anime a masterpiece or just a 10 out of 10 or even 9 out of 10 because of the airtime. You know, honestly, I really like this episode, though, even if I look past the rushness of it. I love the just different effects of it and the way they managed to appeal off the atmosphere of this series. The atmosphere is something Pupa manages to betray really well, even in its short airtime. Even though it's about three minutes long, I still get those creepy vibes that's really creepy. And the way you get to see the characters' interactions, especially with our main male character interacting with his sister, and you see her, like, touch her, and when she just bites off his freaking arm or freaking shoulder, I was like, holy! crap but I like the entire aspect of that just it doesn't feel like it does it justice when you have something so awesome just so short tell me what your opinions on pupa are everybody I mean I know a lot of people I know a lot of people are looking forward to the series and I know a lot of people are probably very disappointed with pupa but if you want pupa in its true form honestly I'm probably gonna have to do this I think it's best if we all go to read the manga series because we're not going to probably get the justice we want with this epic series by actually watching the anime. So if you haven't read the manga yet, I think I would recommend go read the manga instead of watching the anime. I'm probably going to be doing that myself because I want to see exactly if they're changing anything from the manga to the anime and if they are really actually rushing this plot because it does feel like that to me as an actual anime watcher. It doesn't feel like, uh, I guess it's a bad series, it just feels like they're trying to rush events real quickly since it's an anime short. Well, everybody, this is going to be the end of Pupa. Let me know your thoughts on this series, and just I was relaying my honest opinion to all of you. Y'all wonderful day or night, wherever you live. Please stay safe. Chibi out.